I am 30 years old and I'm not getting any younger. And because of that, I realized I need to save my back. Yung likod ko. Yes, sumasakit na siya mga kapatid every time na humahagod ako ng mga signature handheld moves ko. Buti na lang nagluto ako ng adobong manak and nakinig ako sa aking back or sa aking likod and I got this, the Easy Rig Mini Max. And boy, I am telling you, ito yung isa sa mga bagay na hinding hindi ko pinagsisisihang i-purchase. And we are going to be talking about a boat. <laughs> Canadian, you know. A boat. A boot. And yes, we are going to be talking about the Easy Rig Mini Max after the intro. Paramount Pro. Hey, what's up, guys? Ronald and Shal and Puy. Marami, marami salamat po sa pagbalik nyo dito sa channel ko. And yes, you heard it right. This is a taglish review video. Kasi napansin ko na mas maraming nanonood na Pinoy sa akin. So, might as well do taglish review videos from now on as much as possible, di ba? So, yeah. We are going to be talking about one of the gears na hinding hindi ko pinagsisisihang bilhin. And this gear nga is... The Easy Rig Mini Max. Medyo mabigat lang. So, baba ko muna. Before anything else, isa muna ng disclaimer. I bought that. Okay, so this is not a sponsored review video. Well, I got a discount though, so yeah. But I won't be biased sa video na to. So, yun na nga. Gets nyo na yun. So ngayon, natapos na tayo sa intro at disclaimer. Sisimulan ko na itong review video na ito sa pamamagitan ng pagpapakita sa inyo ng mga bagay na kasama sa produktong ito. Wow. Tagalog na Tagalog. Let's go! Firstly, you get a travel case. A very nice and napakatibay na travel bag na modular din at the same time. It can be used like a gym bag or a backpack. Inside the bag, you get the Easy Rig Mini Max. And you also get instructions on how to use it. You also get these quick release ball studs. There are two quarter inch ball studs and two 3-8 ball studs. And we are going to be talking about these ball studs later. And that's pretty much it. Zerig Mini Max is a camera support system. The main function of this system is to transfer the weight of the camera from your hands and arms to your waist. And that's it. Pinapagaan nito ang trabaho ng mga kamay at braso mo at ng likod mo na rin. Kasi nga, di ba, pag naka-handheld ka at mabigat yung camera mo, all the weight of the camera will be on your arms, shoulders, and back. Lalo na kung dumudukwang ka. Yun ang tatapos sa karyer mo. And we should always remember na alagaan yung isa sa pinakamahalagang gear na meron tayo. Hindi yung camera ha, yun ay yung ating katawan. Specifically in this case, our backs. Meh, kuweran. Magalang naman yung camera ko and bata pa ako. Well, hindi habang buhay ay magaan ng camera mo. Dahil you never know, in the future, baka gumamit ka na ganito ka bibigat ng mga cinema cameras. At mas lalong hindi ka habang buhay bata. E edad ka. Just like me. But I look young, right? Yes, cameras nowadays are getting smaller, but dahil sa lumiliit sila, mas marami kang dapat ilagay sa kanila. Just like my setup. The Zcam E2S6 is a small camera, but the stuff that you need to mount on it doesn't make it small anymore. And of course, if it's bigger, it's heavier. My setup weighs 12 pounds or limang kilo. Yes, magaan. Magaan pa to. But if you're going to use this for three hours, Handheld, good luck. Slip disc or herniated disc ang aabutin mo, my friend. I am telling you, pagdating mo ng 30 or ng 30, sa mga hindi nakakaalam ng Spanish ng 30, pagdating mo ng 30, damang-dama mo na yan. I have been using cameras for more than 10 years. Small cameras, big cameras, you name it, and yes, handheld. And right now, I'm not kidding. I f***ing feel it. So if you love your backs, get an easy rig. It will surely help you, not just for a long day of shoot, but for the long run, as in buong karir mo, tol. Now that you know the main function of the Easy Rig Mini Max, let me show you how to set it up and it's super easy, my friend. Baka na-intimidate kayo eh, sa itsura pala. Baka mahirap iset up. No, it's not. It's super easy. It's easy peasy. First, kunin mo sa loob ng bag and then itusok mo yung poste dito. Afternoon, isuot mo yung back straps niya. 
and then lock those straps. Make sure na this strap is nice and tight. Di dapat maluwag okay, cause dito yung pinaglalaglagan ng weight ng camera mo sa baywang. Next, get the quick release hook. Pull it onto your camera stop handle where the ball stud is. Ipasok mo yung ball stud sa quick release hook. Make sure there's a great sounding click, and then. Now, your camera is secured. Adjust the power pack or the nub at the back depending on the weight of your camera setup and then voila, you are good to go. Super easy, right? And now you look like a colleague of Buzz Lightyear. I know, hindi ka mukhang normal wearing this. I'm sure this will attract a lot of attention. I know because I experienced it. Dahil mukha kang may jetpack na mamiming wet. But this is what you will look like if the person who's looking at you is not a fan of filmmaking or doesn't even know anything about filmmaking. But in the eyes of us filmmakers, you will look like a man who shoots the MCU. Yes, you will look like a man that shoots Hollywood motion pictures, history channel documentaries, action-packed international music videos. Well, that's just me. Di ko alam sa inyo, no? pero yun ang tingin ko sa mga, sa mga nakaganito. But yeah, you will look more professional if you're wearing this. But it's not just how you present yourself to the client. It's more of the benefits na makukuha mo dito para sa katawan mo and sa convenience nito sa shoot. You get what I'm saying? Mas na-appreciate ko yung fact na hindi magiging masakit ang katawan ko kinabukasan. Mas na-appreciate ko yung fact na mas magiging creative ako dahil hindi ako nahahadlangan ng bigat ng camera ko and I will last longer sa shoot. Mas na-appreciate ko yung fact na lifetime investment to para sa physic ko. Now, I won't be teaching you how to use this because napaka simple lang gamitin nito. Even my apprentice mastered it in just a couple of minutes. Parang sinampay mo lang naman yung camera mo para di ka na mabigatan. Yun lang naman. All you need to do now is to focus on your shot compositions and not with the weight of your rig. The only time that I don't use this is tuwing may mga lakad shots or tracking shots na matatagal or may mga camera movements na sobrang wide or intense. Kasi yes, this stabilizes your handheld shots just a bit if you are stationary or nasa isang lugar ka lang. But if may mga lakad at takbo na, this won't stabilize those shots. Bakit? Kasi konektado ito sa waist natin. And every time na lumalakad tayo, our waist sways. And I want you guys to know this. You better listen up. Hindi po ito substitute sa gimbals and stabilizers natin. Again, the main purpose of the Easy Rig is to transfer the weight of the camera to our waist and not to stabilize shots. If you're looking for something na magpapa smooth sa mga tracking shots mo, this is not what you need. What you need is a gimbal. The Easy Rig is not a gimbal. But this can be used with a gimbal, again, just to spread out the weight equally, not to stabilize the shots. Okay, pag-usapan naman natin kung para kanino to. The Easy Rig Minimax is for the filmmakers that has big and heavy setups. There are other Easy Rig variants. This one is the Easy Rig Minimax. Ito yung pinakamaliit. This can carry up to 15 pounds of weight. There is the Easy Rig Vario 5, which is more expensive but can carry a bigger amount of load. You can also customize the straps or vests and the support bar. Accessories are also available. The Stable G2, which stabilizes the camera again. That's an add-on. Now, if you're just using, let's say, your mirrorless cameras or DSLR cameras without the cage, the top handle, the external monitor, and other accessories, I think it's fine. Wag na kayong bumili nito because magagaan lang naman yan. But, I'm telling you, sa tagal ng panahon na gagawin nyo yan, na wala kayong easy rig, may balik yan sa likod nyo or backbone nyo. Maybe not that much, but you'll feel it over time. But, if you think in the future magbabago ang sitwasyon nyo, kakapit kayo ng mas mabibigat na rigs, I advise you to get an easy rig to save your backs and to perform better siguro sa mga shoot. I know, depende rin yan sa type of shoot na ginagawa nyo. For example, weddings. Medyo hindi rin bagay ang easy rig kasi sa weddings, parang hindi naman mabibigat ang mga camera doon. Correct me if I'm wrong. Travel videos hindi rin masyadong advisable since kailangan mobile ka doon. Hindi rin naman ako magre-recommend sa inyo ng something na hindi nyo naman kailangan eh. But if you are shooting in controlled spaces like TVCs, run-and-gun documentaries, narrative films, and a little bit of nature and wildlife, I guess, you need the Easy Rig for those kinds of shoots. But again, depende yan ha. Basically, if you are using a heavy setup, you do a lot of handheld, long hours of shoot, you need an Easy Rig and that's it. Now, here's the thing to consider. The price or yung presyo. The Easy Rig mini Max is not cheap. It's actually pretty expensive. But the benefits that you get from it 
is unparalleled. Pwede mong sabihin titiisin mo na lang ang sakit ng likod. Pwede yun. I've done that for the past decade. But ngayon na nasubuan ko na ang easy rig and naramdaman ko na yung kaibahan, yung enjoyment sa shoot, yung pag-uwi mo hindi masakit ang katawan mo, hindi ka patang-pata, yung kinabukasan ready to roll ka ulit and may isip mo yung future mong maayos yung physique mo sa kabila ng strenuous na trabaho. Masasabi kong yung binayad ko sa easy rig is all worth it. You can take my word for it. Ayos ah, salesman. Pwede na ba? Pwede, pwede naman budol, no? <laughs> now that has been my review of the Easy Rig Mini Max. Now, if nakumbinsi kita or interesado ka talagang bumili nito before mo pa panoorin to, you can check out the links below kung saan mo pwedeng i-purchase ito. I got mine from MQ Group. They have stocks as of this time of recording. So go ahead, make a visit or message them on Facebook or visit their website. I just want to thank and give a shout out to Mr. Christian Ong of MQ Group. Sir, maraming salamat po and I hope you liked this video. To Miss Ruby and to all the officers and staff po ng MQ. Hello po sa inyo lahat. Thank you po and I'll see you soon po ulit. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already ready and click that bell as well. Once again, this has been Rainer Denshal. Thanks so much for being here and see you in the next video.